Hello, this is a quick look at a wireless router that I got off of somebody that had an internal failure, so to speak. It is a Trinnet TW452BRP wireless router an external antenna four LAN ports, one LAN port and five volt power on input. The person that gave this to me said that the unit just quit working on its own one day, hadn't been bugged or anything. So when I got it, hooked the five volts up to it that it specifies for power on the input and no response from it at all. So when I opened it up there's an obvious smell of burnt electronics and an obvious damaged chip right here. You can see if, if you can see regulator the switching regulator has a nice hole in the top this is the regulator that takes the 5 volt supply coming in and steps it down to 3.3 volts to run the rest of the primary components the memory the LAN chip the system on a chip with the processor and the uh, 802.11 Wi-Fi stuff so all the stuff here runs off at 3.3 volts but the primary regulator it supplies all of it has literally had a catastrophic failure and from the person that has come from I know they haven't been messing with it or have it hooked to some odd supply or something so this is just literally an unprovoked random failure of a device and I was worried seeing that that the rest of the components might have been damaged when the regulator was destroyed but hooking 3.3 volts to the downstream of the regulator the rest of it powers up operates fine stuff I'll show you that in a second but general overview the, this wireless router twin net unit seems to be equipped with a MIPS 4000 processor and of course you can see the JTAG port right here well everything else in it seems to be complete and stuff no other damage to it or anything just the one regulator failed I'll, as I said I'll hook it up to 3.3 volts and show you I've already done so and tested it and it seems to be working fine you have a wire soldered to the diode flyback diode on the switching regulator and hook the ground and so I can power this off of an external supply and have the supply set to 3 volts turn the power on and it goes up through its normal boot up sequence so it seems to be working and when I hook into it with a ethernet and stuff I can bring up the normal configuration window so everything inside seems to be functioning properly just strictly the internal regulator failed primary regulator and from powering this off of an external supply tell that it has quite a hefty current draw about one amp at 3.3 volts which is probably one of the reasons why the regulator failed because one amp is right 
at the upper limit of most self-contained simple switching regulators so it's probably been pushing that one to its operational limit for many many years and it's finally gave up the ghost time for either a straight IC replacement or build a slightly more robust 3.3 regulator for this unit that's if it's ever needed but not right now so it's going to go back to the to the uh, parts bin or to the scrap heap whatever so take it easy <laughs>